This is Gadget Stop 321, and here I have the Boogie Board Sync 9.7. It's the latest e writing device from Improv Electronics. And what makes this newest Boogie Board so interesting is that it allows you to wirelessly sync your notes from the writing device to any iOS device like your iPod, your iPhone, or an iPad you're able to sync your notes via Bluetooth. Right now I'm going to demonstrate how to pair the Boogie Board Sync with an iPad. Make sure that the device is turned off. You'll know it's off when neither of the two LED indicators are lit up. The power button is on the bottom right corner and I'll go ahead and go over the other buttons on the device. On the front of the boogie board is a save button and an erase button and on the back is a recessed reset button those are the only buttons on the device it's pretty low tech but I think it's a really interesting device now to pair it with your iPad or your iPhone make sure that it's turned off hold the save button and at the same time Press the power button and hold it until the blue Bluetooth indicator comes on. Then you can release it. And you see that sync has shown up in your Bluetooth devices. Just tap it and it should pair or connect with it. Give it a few minutes or a few seconds and now it's paired. Now I'm going to go back to the home screen and earlier I downloaded the sync app I just did a search for boogie board and the boogie board sync app appeared and I downloaded it so I'm gonna go to the sync app right now and there are two options you can go to files or go to live writing I'm gonna demonstrate the live writing right now one of the things I like about the boogie board is the built-in stylus. You just pop it out. Now, any notes you're going to save, you have to use this stylus to write. You can actually write with your fingernail or any, any object, but it won't show up in your app and you won't be able to save it. I'm in live draw. Now I can start drawing. and it shows up on the app. Now from the live drawing menu you can send it, you can email it to someone, you can send it to your camera roll, you can send it to your Evernote if you have that set up, you can send it to Facebook or Twitter, or if I send it to the trash it also erased it off the boogie board. Now one of the complaints about this newer boogie board is the contrast. Let me see if I can get a better picture of this. the stylus has a very fine point which I like I've written really big here so you can see it I like the fine point because it allows you to write just like you would on paper uh, the the earlier boogie boards had a wrote with a, a fatter script and it was more like writing with a magic marker. It showed up a lot better from a distance. If you see from a distance, you can't hardly see that. But if you're just writing notes for yourself, it's going to be right there uh, close to you. I can read it okay, but there have been a lot of complaints about the contrast. But you notice on the app... you know it looks a lot better the contrast is better because it's black writing on white 
Now that's a, a demonstration of the live writer. Let me go to the files. In my files, it will automatically save. Anytime you push the save button, it'll save it to the memory on the, ta on the boogie board. And anytime you uh, turn on the app, it will Bluetooth sync your notes that are on the boogie board with your app. And it'll automatically send those to new notes. Now I had some notes that I had written and saved earlier and I didn't have the app turned on. When I turned on the app, it automatically saved those to uh, my iPad. I'm gonna delete that one. Now, these are all automatically saved in new notes. You can go back to the menu and there's a little plus sign there. You can add new folders Let's say you want to add one for school. Now, any notes you save will automatically go to the new notes, but then you can go to your notes and you can send it. Oh, I'm not going to share it. You can, oh, I just noticed that. You can rename the note. The notes are named with, you know, numbers but you can give the notes actual names and I can select notes. Oh, down here at the bottom, that's what I was looking for, add to. And you can pick which file you want to add it to. So you can manage your notes and your files from the app. The main criticism I've seen on Amazon is the contrast and you can look at that again now I've written really big on this if I were actually taking notes I wouldn't write that big I would let's say and this is still it's hard to write while I'm on camera that's still really big this is a little bit smaller than an actual piece of paper I like that the script is really thin that the stylus has a fine point because you can fit quite a bit of notes on one page and then save it but that's what the boogie board sink looks like it's really thin it's as light or lighter than a, a, a yellow legal pad I think I'm going to enjoy this Improv's motto is say goodbye to paper, and I think this is a, a really neat device. I think they're onto something really neat here. If you found this video informative, please comment, like, or subscribe.